port numbers can run between 0 and 65,353. That's a lot of numbers to try and memorize. Luckily for us, port numbers from 0 to 1,023 are the well-known ports, but that's still a lot. And honestly, I think if I went to Dunkin' Donuts and asked the cashiers to start naming registered ports, they might maybe know HTTP. And that's about it. Luckily for us, A plus exam is mostly interested in a small handful and even luckier is that you found this video to help you memorize them. This may go by fast, so feel free to bookmark this and come back to it and watch multiple times to get the numbers really cemented in your head. I feel like three should do the trick, but I'll leave that up to you. Let's begin. 20 and 21 file transfer protocol. So just like the years 2020 and 2021, the global pandemic, we just like to forget that period of time, just like FTP file transfer protocol 2020, 2021, we'd like to FTP forget that period. Port 22, the easiest way to think about this is 22, we turn the twos into S's and we have SSH. A more fun way to think about this is two Ninja Turtles on the left, two Ninja Turtles on the right, two plus two, all of whom have shells secured to their back. Port number 23, this is my personal favorite, 23 is Telnet. So the easiest way I found to remember that is Michael, tell it to the net, Jordan. His jersey number is 23, Telnet is 23. Port number 25, SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. You know, just like Santa Mail Transfer Protocol, which gives you presents on the 25th of December, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is port number 25. Port number 53, this one might be a bit of a stretch, DNS domain name system. So in 1953, Eisenhower was sworn into office and registered the domain, in our imagination, he registered the domain name Eisenhower.com. So just think about, it's a, I know it's a stretch. I couldn't find a more fun one that sticks more. If it's easier for you, there's also Queen Elizabeth II taking office or the end of the Korean War, if this works better for you. But again, port number 53, Eisenhower sworn into office, domain name Eisenhower.com, DNS domain name system. Hey, I never said these were going to be perfect. I'm just trying to help you learn these ports. 67 and 68 DHCP. If the dynamic host configuration protocol was only one or two higher, it could have been 69. But I guess we wouldn't want your default gateway 69ing with any of your hardware. That would be awkward. So it's a good thing they're one to two ports shy of that. So the DHCP server can do its job of assigning IP addresses to devices. Port number 80, HTTP. HTTP requests are used so much it runs the ports ragged, which of course is why they look like the network versions of 80 year old men. If that doesn't work for you, you can always think of how totally rad you would have been in the 80s if you surfed the web with port 80. Port number 110, pop three. So think about this like 110 calorie popcorn bags, which kind of look like an envelope you could just stick in the mail, you know, like the email, port 110, pop three. Port number 137 and 139 is what CompTIA wants you to know for net bias. It also uses 138 as well as another port, but that gets confusing. The easiest way I've found is really not the best. I think of it this way. Net bias is one word, net three letters, net bias, seven letters, visualizing this datagram, datagram, this diagram, 137, and that it's the other ports right after that. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Port number 143 IMAP, Internet Mail Access Protocol. So 143 is also slang for I love you because the amount of letters in each word, one, four, and three. So when you want to email someone to tell them 143 I love you, you might email them using port 143 and the IMAP protocol. 161 and 162 SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. This one is a bit of a stretch, so bear with me. 161 was the year Marcus Aurelius became Emperor of Rome, which is why we see him here as Emperor of this simple network with his management protocol. He helped make Rome into a network with his management protocol, just like the simple network management protocol with ports 161 and 162, his first years in office. 
Some of these are more of a stretch than others. Port 389 LDAP. Port 389, the lightweight directory access protocol, is a directory like a book. We'll title it 389. Our 389 book, of course, has to have 389 pages. And since it's a digital directory protocol, it luckily didn't get burned down in the year 389 when a lot of pagan libraries were burned. Port number 443, HTTPS. Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. These bigger numbers are harder to memorize, but you can visualize this as like luggage carrying three locks on it, a four number, a four number, and a three number, just to keep all of the web pages in your luggage secure. Port number 445, SMB and CIFS. So SMB of course stands for Server Message Block, but also to many of us, it stands for Super Mario Brothers. So I want you to think of this visualization is that we have the four, the four, and the five. And this way we need that little last one on the five. This way Mario can jump over all the rest of those blocks. SMB 445. Port number 3389, Remote Desktop Protocol RDP. So the way I like to think about this is like a snowman wallpaper. So you remote into another computer, you see all their stuff, you see their funny little snowman wallpaper on their desktop, spelling out 3389. So some of these might be helpful, some of these might not help at all, but I figure if you remember at least three or four just by something from this video, then it was worth it.